what it right there stands for. Mm. Well, um, what would you like for Christmas, young lady? Oh, now, look, that would make the holidays <laughs> merry and bright. Santa's going to be careful to put you on my naughty but nice list. <laughs> and Merry Christmas to all. And to all, a good night. And what is it that you want most? Oh, I don't want anything. Oh, come now. Everyone wants something. If you could have anything for Christmas, what would it be? What I want, I can't have. Try me, I'm Santa, after all. How about Van Gogh's Starry Night? <laughs> I put it by my bedside, and I would fall asleep every night looking at it. Van Gogh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's a Van Gogh that you really want. You know, like I said, what I really want, I can't have. I don't know about that. Have faith in the magic of Christmas. <laughs> Good night, Santa. My lady. give you a second chance. But I don't ever want to see you out here doing something like this again. You got me? Get out of here. You've got to be kidding me. Wow, excuse me, lady. That was oh, 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 impressive. Who are you? I'm just here to help an innocent bystander. Although, I'm not standing at the moment. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Well, now that depends. Am I hallucinating? <laughs> oh. Apology accepted. I thought you were one of his friends. My friends don't snatch purses. Well, thank you for trying to help. I appreciate it. Well, you clearly didn't need my help. <laughs> Where are you headed? Office holiday party. Sounds fun. Yeah. As much fun as you getting the wind knocked out of you. Oh, I don't know. I didn't hate it. Yeah, well... Happy holidays. Same to you. <laughs> um, by the way, what are you doing in an alley behind a dumpster anyways? Um, you know, I couldn't resist this lamp. Yep, this. Yeah, look at that. You like that? Yeah, I mean, it's an antique. It's got to be worth something. It looks like an ugly old lamp to me. Well, sometimes you have to look beneath the surface to find the true value. Have a good night. Good night. party until the cops show up, right? <laughs> Ma'am, this is an active crime scene. I'm gonna have to ask you to wait in the living room with the other guests. I'm FBI. Agent Winslow. Corporal Winslow. Art crime team. <laughs> that was fast. I was in the neighborhood when the call came in and part in the fancy attire, office holiday party. Even the FBI likes to get into the holiday spirit around this time of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm uh, Detective Lopez, and to get you up to speed, the original artwork was locked in a safe behind the replica that was on display. <laughs> Why would anyone do that? Well, it's like expensive jewelry. Knockoffs are created so it can be worn for security reasons. Uh, 
How much did the original set you back? 15, 15 million. million. 15 million? It was a Hawkins. Some people may not realize that art can be a much better investment than a stock or real estate. And it brings you joy to look at. Yeah, that too. Why did Santa steal the replica if he already got the real thing? Santa? Uh, the suspect was dressed as Santa Claus. So we meet again. You know Santa? Oh, yes. He made off with about 30 million last Christmas. Excuse me. It's going to take about a billion years and 720,000 pounds of pressure per square inch in order for this to be worth anything. Again? It's coal. Uh-oh. So what'd you do to get on Santa's naughty list? Well, I don't believe in Santa, so we could start there. And I'm guessing that there's no video of this Santa, right? That's right, he hacked the security system and turned off all the cameras. But a guest did get a selfie with him. We reached out to the party planner and she's tracking him down. And she'll find that the Santa that was scheduled to show tonight did not. He's not our guy. <laughs> the system is state of the art. It, it's designed to have 500, 500 mil million possible combinations on a variable sequence. That's right. How frequent was the sequence? Every 60 seconds. Every 60 seconds. He didn't make a listen check it twice. He's hacking the password in real time. She just struts right in wearing her designer stilettos. <laughs> and she just takes over my investigation. Well, she is an expert on the FBI's art crime team. <laughs> Don't let the shoes fool you. She's tough. She has to be. Tough? Art crime? Come on! What do you need a badger oh. museum pass? Oh, you know, art crime is dangerous business. We're talking hundreds of millions of dollars, the mob, money laundering. That's why I put you on it. No one's tougher than you. Except maybe her. <laughs> hey, look. This heist is serious FBI territory. You know that. I know it, but I don't have to like it. I can't even begin to describe to you how annoying she is. Just wait, you'll see. Oh my God. Oh, I'm FBI Barbie, and I spent my entire paycheck on this two feet of material that is my little black dress. Oh, and I know everything, including the half-life of carbon. <laughs> what an effing nightmare. Actually, there isn't an FBI Barbie yet, but I did write Mattel requesting one. And also, my dress was 50% off final sale. I never pay full retail. Agent Winslow, <laughs> Captain Matthew McDowell. Nice to meet you. And you. Okay, you 100% could have said she was standing right behind me. Yes, I could have. Did you know that Agent Winslow was responsible for breaking the security breach at the Smithsonian last year? Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't even know they had a breach at the Smithsonian. Did someone steal Judy Garland's slippers? Actually, they did. But I wasn't on that case. So, this Santa, he's on our most wanted list, and we think that he can lead us to the black market on arts and antiquities. I mean, it's not only valuable, but it's our history. Huh. Yeah, I guess I never thought of it like that. Hmm. Well, uh, I brought you all some donuts. <laughs> are these Da Vinci donuts? Oh, yes, they are. Stop it, the line is around the block at that place 24 seven. Well, a friend of a friend is the owner. Taste of L.A. says the candy cane truffle is all the proof you need Santa's real. Front row, candy cane truffle. Okay, maybe you're kidding me, right? I mean, are we cops or food critics okay, now? Okay, people, I'm gonna need a minute alone with this donut. Everyone, yes, just FYI, I made a batch of my Grandma Louise's Christmas sugar cookies. Help yourself. Mm, do you substitute the salt for the sugar again? Oh my God, that happened one time, once. Nobody here can forget it. An officer cut his lip on a bundt cake she made for a summer picnic. The icing glaze turned out a little sharp. He had to be raced to the hospital. Seven stitches. The picnic table looked like a crime scene. Apparently Joe was on some sort of blood thinner at the time. I'm not saying don't try Carly's cookies. I'm just saying if your tetanus shot isn't up to date, you might not want to risk it. Okay, well, you are all horrible, horrible people, and I hate you all. <laughs> Let me try one of these candy canes. 
truffle thingies. Let's see what the fuss is about. <laughs> see this. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just gonna leave you two busy elves to find Santa. Have yourselves a merry little time. <laughs> Bye now. So, the uh, woman took a live photo, so there are multiple shots. Can we look at that one? Mm -hmm. Both of his eyes are open. A little closer on the eyes. Ooh, they're dreamy. Even more on his right eye? A backward five and part of a two. It looks like it's part of the passcode to the psych security system. He's wearing customized smart glasses. Now, low beam laser projects an image directly into his retina. He would have been fitted for these glasses based on the distance between his pupils in order for them to work. And the shape of the lenses is also quite unique. I'll see if the lab can help. Great. And you were right about the Santa assigned to the event. I talked with the party planner. Mm -hmm. She used an entertainment service called Party People that hires performers for parties and events. Kyle Anderson was scheduled to work, but he received an email saying that the event was canceled, and so Party People said they didn't send... You don't... You don't have to do that. What, are you crazy? Who doesn't love sugar cookies? They're wonderful. Do you mind if I take some for the road? Uh, yes, please. Take as many as you'd like. Thank you. Where are you going? I have to go undercover to find a $15 million Hawkins somewhere in the exciting art world of Los Angeles. <laughs> not without me, you're not. Yeah, I work best alone. Ditto, babe. But around here, we've got a little something we call teamwork. I have spent years developing this undercover identity, and I am not going to let you jeopardize it. Oh, wow, yeah. Well, I happen to go undercover a lot, and uh, maybe I don't want you jeopardizing my cover. Oh, what's your cover? Uh, uh, well, <laughs> usually it's um, <clears throat> a uh, hooker or a homeless person. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, could you pick something a little less professional? So you're saying I can go. Hmm. Okay, well, this is really awkward and uncomfortable for me. Uh, you know we do have an HR department, and I could report you. Hmm. I don't... The, you are making me very... Um, what are you doing? I'm just thinking, like, who could you be? For example, I'm an art expert. I go by Rachel Fox, and I picked Rachel because it's my mom's name, and it's easy to remember. I know my aunt's name. Sophia. Oh, I like Sophia. Yes. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> and you're an accountant. Okay, well, I need a new outfit. No, I think you look great. So you're saying I look like an accountant? Wow. Okay, well, <laughs> any other insults? Okay, looking like an accountant is not insulting. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm an art expert, and I am in for a high-end piece for my boss who lives in Miami. And I am there to make sure you don't spend too much of the boss's money. Exactly. Yes. Look at you. Good. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the Richsoon Gallery. Is there something I can help you find? Perhaps there is. I'm shopping for my boss and she's out of state. She's looking for something extraordinary, very high-end. How high-end? She's in the 10 million range. Well, that wouldn't be something we could help you with here. We don't carry works at that price point. Could you possibly put us in touch with someone who might? Quinn Carlisle is who you want. She only deals in art at that level. And how do we get in touch with her? Well, she works within her private network of clients. 
I have to say, I absolutely love your ring. It's a beautiful antique. <laughs> I'm guessing early 1920s? Yes, that's right. It was my great-grandmother's. An emerald in a Tiffany setting. She had amazing taste. <laughs> Thank you. You know, actually, I do happen to know Quinn is having a small holiday gathering for the city's biggest art patrons at our gallery tonight at 7. Incredible renovation. Cost her over a million to do it. Wow. That was very helpful. Sure. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks. I can't believe people still fall for that. People love compliments. Ah, people are suckers. Yeah. Oh, by the way, really great work in there. Huh. Thanks. Hey! <laughs> hey, do you mind if I take off for about an hour or so and head to the museum? It helps me think. You know, I've solved more than one case just looking at a beautiful work of art. Huh. Kickboxing does that for me. I pretend the bag is my ex. No? I don't care about the scene, I don't care about the location All that matters not to me, that you wherever I go, baby I just need you by my side Most people don't notice this one. Oh, they should. <laughs> it's you, the lamp guy. Yeah, Chris Norton. I'm Harper. So what do you see? Oh, I see the bright blues that blend with the red and the orange. I see the lightness of the brush. You know, it's like looking into the eyes of a bride right before she walks down the aisle. Or a child who had just been let out on a beautiful summer day. It's pure joy. The artist committed suicide. <laughs> Not when he painted this one. His wife had just given birth to his daughter, so... He was really happy at this moment of his life. Do you see the soft lines flowing into the colors and then abruptly stopping? It's like he knew this would be short-lived. I never noticed that. It's just a reminder that life is difficult and you should make the most of happy moments. Like this one? You certainly know a lot about art. Oh, my mom was an art teacher and an artist. You know, I must have taken after my dad because I cannot draw a tree. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's work was wonderful. You know, I used to love to go into her studio and watch her mix together the most amazing colors as the morning sun came through the window. <sighs> it was magical. Yeah, I know a little bit about that feeling. My grandfather is very much into art. Oh, was he an artist, too? Uh, something like that. Okay, what are the chances that we would run into each other again here? It's crazy, right? Yeah. It's the universe of connectivity. The universe of connectivity? Yeah, you know, like um, when you come across an unusual word and then the next day someone uses it. Or when someone's on your mind and then suddenly they just show up out of nowhere. That's all part of the universe of connectivity. Somehow, I believe you were meant to be in my universe. Hmm. It's interesting. Or it could just be a coincidence. <laughs> I don't believe in coincidences. Well, unfortunately, that's gonna be enough art for me today. But for me, this was a happy moment. Me too. Well, I'm sure our paths will cross again. But just in case, let's say we meet here. Same time, same place. Next week. Mm, sure. Then it's a date. OK. <laughs> Clean up really nice. Oh. <laughs>
Thanks. I actually had to go shopping this afternoon. It's been a long time since I've been out. So, now what? We grab some wine and then we oh. mingle with the other guests. Thank you. Thank you. And then we look for the star of the show, Miss Queen Carlo. Wow. The St. Nicholas Pipe. It's beautiful. Did you know he wasn't even Nordic? I never even thought he was Nordic. He was born in 270 AD in Qatar. Qatar? Huh. Turkey. Huh. He was the patron saint of children and repentant thieves. Oh, thieves? <laughs> was St. Nick a crook? No, more like a Robin Hood, minus the stealing. Oh. He was really rich and gave to the poor. In fact, the tradition of leaving a stocking came from a legend that he would throw little gold pieces into the poor family's homes and they would land in a shoe. Is there anything you don't know? It's kind of annoying. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> of course you do. I'm sorry. I just have one of those memories that really annoys people. Mm. I just, I read something and I just have to share it. I can't help myself. No, it's okay. I'm actually learning something. <laughs> you know, to be honest, <laughs> I thought working with you was gonna be awful. But it, it's actually been kind of fun. Well, thanks, Detective Lopez. <laughs> you can call me Carly. You can call me Harper. Okay, but don't get the wrong impression, all right? We're just, we're not, we're not partners or anything. Of course we're not. We're not gonna be braiding each other's hair and talking about boys. Okay? Yeah, for sure. No. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> so, you seeing anyone? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just having this job, a relationship is a little challenging. Oof, I hear that. <laughs> But uh, this job can be tough, you know? It'd be nice to have someone to come home to, you know? Someone who gets what we do. Like Captain McDowell? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> I guess you don't know everything. I'm gonna take that as a yes. <laughs> And that's Miss Carlisle. Yes, I'd say so. Mm. Welcome to the Carlisle Gallery. I'm the owner of the gallery, Quinn Carlisle. It's a pleasure, Miss Carlisle. I'm Rachel Fox, and this is my associate, Sophia Valentin. We heard you might be able to help us. Perhaps. I'm in the market for a high-end art piece. My boss is. And the value of the piece is much more important to her than the provenance and paperwork. Of course, we want a good price. What's the range? Oh, we're thinking 10 to 20. Uh, no, we're thinking 15 million tops. Remember, you get what you pay for. I'm sure I can find something for you and your boss and your accountant here. Hmm? Thank you, Miss Carla. Please, call me Quinn. Quinn. Really? I'm the cheapskate at 15 million? What kind of crazy world is this? The art world.
clapped. Good morning. You know you don't have to bring in treats every time you walk in here. Yes, she does. <laughs> Please tell me these are Little Miss Muffins. I'm sure they are. They're not, I'm sorry. <gasps> oh, these are Crown Cruffins. Crown Cruffins? Mm -hmm. It's a cross between a croissant and a muffin. They were written up in today's food section. They don't open for another week. I know because I marked my calendar. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, I know a guy. And they're doing a soft opening, so they're trying something. Yeah. I Please. <gasps> oh, hell no. You are not crying over a cruffin, Captain. What? No. Maybe. <laughs> well, he's right. You have to savor these little moments in life. Excuse me. What is happening to this place? Try one. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> if I work with you much longer, I'm gonna need a new wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so, look, I was thinking. Mm -hmm. This whole calling card thing? The lump of coal. Well, yeah. Coal, of course, means you're on Santa's naughty list. Ooh. Could it be that he knows he's being naughty? At some level, maybe he wants to get caught and punished. <gasps> there was that serial killer who tattooed his victim's names all over his body. I don't think he wants to get caught. Okay. I think he's saying that his victims have been naughty. Take a look at this. This is an article profiling Capital Finance. It mentions they just had layoffs. What? Mm -hmm. Right before the holidays? Mm -hmm. Jeez, there's never a good time to lose your job, but that is just extra cold. Really cold. So the Capital Finance CEO, Alex Sykes, says, get this, we regret the timing of these right-sizing measures, but the future health of our company depends on it. <laughs> right-sizing my... <laughs> well, it looks like it is time to head back out. Ooh, where are we going? The North Pole. <laughs> no, a little closer to home. Let's go talk to a former Capital Finance employee. Okay, all right. Well, I'm taking my cruffin. Oh, please. <laughs> you look really cute today. I know. I'm trying to look like Harper. Ooh. A little bit. No. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> so, we understand that there were layoffs at Capital Finance recently. There sure were. Out of nowhere. I've been there nearly 15 years, and they let me go two months before I'd become eligible for my pension. Jeez, that's wow. tough. There's no loyalty in these companies anymore. Tell me about it. I wasn't the only one. Nearly all of us were nearing pension eligibility. It just doesn't seem legal. But that's why you're here, isn't it? Oh, no, I'm afraid not. We're here investigating theft of valuable art from the Sykes residence. Sykes? Alex Sykes? Yes, I'm afraid so. You mean you're helping him and not us? This interview's over. Uh, that went well. Who are we gonna offend next? Uh, would you two care for some wine? Yeah, please. I have to apologize about last night. The party was a little more exciting than planned. Did they catch the thief? Mm. I'm afraid not. Oh, well, I'm sure the artifact was worth, what, millions? Mm -hmm. But I'm guessing you had insurance. Surely you too understand. My clients, like your boss, are very high profile, and they don't like to involve the police or the insurance companies. I can assure you we are very discreet here, if that's what you're hinting at. Have you given any more thought to what your boss might be in the market for? This acquisition is a vanity purchase. Mm -hmm. She's looking to purchase something for a New Year's party that she's hosting. Remind me of the price range? 10 to 20 million. 15, 10 to 15 million. 
<laughs> None of the other galleries in the area can help you at that price point. So you've come to the right place. <laughs> well, that's why we're here. Hmm. I would recommend something like these. These three artists are extremely sought after these days and are sure to be the next Vimeers or Rembrandts. Coletti, Hammerstein, and Vox. Gorgeous. You know them. I'm impressed. Now, these are close, but my boss prefers to have a female artist, like a Hawkins or a McGinnis. Great choices. I would need some time. Can your client give me a better week? Oh, I'm sure that'll be fine with her. I'll have something for you to look at then. Perfect. Mm. Your gallery's gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can you believe this place was once a woman's shelter? I think that they used the salon as the TV room. Mm. It took me eight months and over a million dollars to restore this place to its natural grandeur. What happened to the women's shelter? I don't actually know. <laughs> In fact, it was the owner of the St. Nicholas Pipe that helped me with all this. Let's just say it helps to have friends in high places. Hmm. I guess so. Besides, could you imagine having a woman's shelter in this neighborhood? Ooh, I did everyone a favor. <laughs> Except maybe the women in the shelter. <laughs> it's good wine. It is. Yeah. <laughs> She's a peach. Something like that. Oh! The lab says Santa spyglasses were shipped to a local company called Smart Tech two months ago. Really? It's 20 minutes from here. Let's go. It's pretty impressive. It's all right. <laughs> Do you want to come right this way? Oh, sure. Hey, Ben. It looks much better than I thought. Thank you. I clean up nicely. <laughs> no, not you. The lamp. The nasty old thing you found in the alley. Yeah, it's a treasure. I like to find those. The universe of connectivity. The what? We keep running into each other. You do? So it looks like fate brought us together again. Fate or forensics. Forensics? Chris, my name is Agent Winslow. I'm FBI. I'm a part of the art crime team. Detective Lopez, Los Angeles PD. Why don't you have a seat? A pair of custom smart glasses that were used in a crime were delivered here to Smart Tech about two months ago. Smart glasses delivered here is not unusual. Hence the name Smart Tech. Well, what is unusual is the very same glasses were worn by a most wanted art thief that likes to dress up as Santa Claus. So you think your Santa thief is one of my employees? That's Ho, ho. Hilarious. <laughs> That's actually funny. <laughs> well, let's just say that there's cause for concern. Touche. <laughs> well, I assure you that each of my employees goes through the strictest of background checks. It's highly unlikely that your most wanted Santa works here. With all due respect, we'll determine what's unlikely and likely. Fair. In that case, my company is at your disposal. Do you mind if I take a look? Be my guest. Thank you. Hawkins, so beautiful. Must be worth. It's priceless. It was a gift from my grandfather. Taught me everything I know, including how to value beautiful things. Well, it is our duty to safeguard these precious things, and if they are lost, you turn them to the rightful place. I wholeheartedly agree. Well, I'm glad we're on the same page. Thank you for your time, Mr. North. My pleasure. Oh, um, Agent Winslow, can I interest you in some of the finest art LA has to offer? Sounds tempting. Join me tonight, 7 p.m. at the museum where we met. It's a small but important fundraiser. Formal attire. Sounds lovely. I'll be there. So are we not gonna talk about what just happened in there? 
What, that we're one step closer to a little something like solving this case? Uh, that you're one step closer to a little something. Something. What? No, please. He is a suspect. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't be silly. No. Oh, don't be silly. Are you kidding me? I would not have been surprised if one of you started to giggle. <laughs> Are you done? It's all a part of a plan. Right. What plan exactly? To get yourself a hot young tech exec? Whatever, Carly. Christopher North is up to something. I'm gonna find out what it is. I bet you are. So, what did you find? She checks out. Hmm. Quite impressive, this Rachel Fox. How have I never heard of her? Anyone can create a profile, do a background check, find out if she really went to these schools and worked at these museums. Will do. It's the finest art LA has to offer. All created by local children with cancer in an art therapy class. This whole event is sponsored by Smart Tech. We'll auction off the paintings and use the money for research. Very impressive, Mr. North. I agree. <laughs> Would you like to take a closer look? Mm, yeah. Look at this one. It's gorgeous. My favorite. That's why I made a bid on it. Hundred thousand dollars. It's very generous. It's a very important cause. I wanted to make sure I wasn't outbid. And if I am, I'll just bid more. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your plans for the holidays? No big plans. Is this something low-key with the family? No family. Not anymore. My mom... Um, oh, the um, teacher and artist. Yes. She died several years ago. Cancer. And my father was a police officer, and he was killed in the line of duty. So, just me. I'm sorry. Thank you. But you are the perfect combination of both of them. Miss Art Cop. Yeah, I guess I am. Actually, I was adopted, so... I might have some biological family out there. You never know. We might be related. I certainly hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, me too. Miss Winslow, you're making me blush. <laughs> <laughs> but you did mention your grandfather a few times. Yes, he was um, polarizing, to say the least. It divided the family. Most of them couldn't understand his obsession with art. Mm. Look at us. A couple of loners. From one loner to another. Mm -hmm. May I have this dance? I don't know if I should. Is it because you don't know how to dance or because you can't hide your feelings from me? <laughs> oh, I know how to dance. So is that a yes? Couldn't you find your birth mother if you wanted to? I don't think I want to. One amazing mom is enough. Plus, some things are best left the way that they are. But wasn't it you that said once you find something of value, you should return it to its rightful place? My parents were the rightful place. You know what I think? I think you were afraid. I think the big, tough FBI <laughs> agent might be scared. I am not scared. Maybe a little. Of what exactly? I'm not sure. Of loss? Well, you lost your mother. You lost your father. If you do get to know your birth mother and you lose her too, that could be a lot for one person to handle. Hmm. Maybe you're right. But isn't that what love is? Potential for loss? Love doesn't last forever. Yes, it does. Well, the right kind of love. And what exactly is the right kind of love? I think 
think you just know when it happens. Um, I should go. Wait, what? Is your coach turning into a pumpkin? Something like that. Well, how will you know if I won my bid? Oh, I think you'll get it. I have a feeling you always get what you want. I certainly hope so. You're late. Sorry. Mm. <sighs> so, mm -hmm. how is ridiculously hot Mr. I own a tech company? I was just getting information for the case. Oh, yes, of course. So what did you find out? Well, I found out that he is absolutely warm and kind of amazing. Excellent work, Agent Winslow. <laughs> we should be able to crack this case wide open in 10 years. Okay, believe me, I am not falling for this great guy act, okay? You know people say believe me when you actually can't believe them because they are lying. Are you calling me a liar? Yes, your pants are on fire. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, heads up, incoming. Hello, ladies. Hello. How are you this fine day? Good. Tomlin's in a good mood. Yeah. Yes, a quarter million dollars will do that. Wait, what? $250,000 wired directly into my account from the North Pole. The North Pole? Santa was very good to me this year. Was there any more information? Nope, but apparently all of us got it. All 60 former employees of one Mr. Sykes. <laughs> That's why I came down here. I thought you might have an explanation. No, this is news to us. Huh. Well, Merry Christmas. Here, take a cookie. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Wait. So 60 employees were laid off and each received $250,000. That's a total of $15 million. That's the value of the painting stolen from Alex Sykes. <laughs> so Santa is stealing from the rich and giving to the poor, huh? A modern day Robin Hood dressed as Santa Claus. You know, in this business, people rarely surprise me in a good way. I mean, I, I kind of like this Santa guy. Well, he still stole $15 million from Mr. Sykes. <laughs> like I said, I like this Santa guy. <laughs> oh, I know, it's bad, I'm sorry. Stealing's bad. But don't tell me that Scrooge didn't deserve it. Yeah. But okay, so if the former Capital Finance employees got reimbursed for their pensions, then what about the women's shelter? What happened to them? Okay, so apparently that shelter was called the Horizon House and it was closed down. The former executive director is now working for St. John's Hospital. Rose Clemens. Looks like we need a meter. Let's go. All right. Singing the old carols by candlelight. Roasting chestnuts on the old Ladies, I have a box of 5,000 of these downstairs. Use them liberally. We're looking for Rose Clemens. I'm Rose. I'm Detective Lopez. This is my, well, partner, FBI agent Winslow. <laughs> FBI. <laughs> Big deal. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> not that you're not a big deal. I'm sure you're a very big deal. Uh, we're just here to ask you a few questions. Ah. It looks like Santa's workshop is here. I know, right? <laughs> we just received a huge donation of gifts, so we're trying to get them all wrapped in time for Christmas. Would you like any help? Yes. <laughs> Please. We're low on bows. Would you like to make some bows while we talk? We're sure. on it. Excellent. Okay. Um, so you mentioned a donation. How big was this donation? Well, it was no less than $50,000 worth of toys and games and clothes and electronics, just everything. Enough so that every child at the hospital will at least get something. That's a very generous donation. Mm -hmm. Santa's pipe was valued at more than a million. Did he just pocket the rest? Hmm. Oh, I think I know why you might be here. When we received all of this, Horizon House, which is my pet project, received a million dollar monetary donation because we had just lost our women's shelter and we're trying to find a new one. We do know about that and 
Yes, we are here about the donation. Oh, dear. Was it illegally gained? That's what we're trying to figure out. I knew it was too good to be true. Rose, do you have any of those sticky bows? Thank you. OK. Now that's a bow. <laughs> So, uh, what happened to the old shelter? Quinn Carlisle happened. Our building was rent control, which made it very affordable for us. And naturally, Quinn Carlisle decided she wanted it for her gallery. So she petitioned, bribed someone at City Hall, and we were zoned out of it. I always try to see the best in everyone, but I'm really struggling with Miss Carlisle. And naturally, we were all devastated. Can you imagine all those women now back out on the street? Of course, we were just thrilled when out of the blue, we received such a generous donation. Rose, can you tell us who made the donation? Santa Claus. I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I just assumed that whoever made the donation wanted to remain anonymous. Hey. Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. They sent a card, even wrote a little note. For a new safe house and more, keep up the good work. Ho, ho, ho. Love, Santa. How was the donation received? Five trucks pulled up to the hospital with all the gifts and the card. And at the same time, a monetary donation to Horizon House was wired into its account directly. And we were sent an email from the North Pole advising us of the transfer. If you don't mind, can we get a copy of that email and your bank account number? Oh, of course. Absolutely. I mean, this is just devastating. How am I going to tell the staff? Oh, don't say anything just yet. This is a preliminary investigation. Well, if you ladies have any more questions, do not hesitate to ask me. Thank you. We will. <laughs> wow. Can you believe this Santa guy? Fifteen million to the fired employees and now a million to Horizon House. Yeah, he's very generous with money that doesn't belong to him. I thought I was a cynical one. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so um, we're still missing this guy. Mm -hmm. The one who's buying the stolen art, the middleman. Mm. Or in this case, the middle woman. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to pay Miss Quinn another visit. But this time I'm gonna go alone. Take a picture, it'll last longer. What, I'm not looking at you? Then what are you looking at? There are cookies? Um, there were cookies. Harper took the last one. Oh. Sorry. You might remember this at job review time. You know you're always in exceeds expectations with me, Carly. <laughs> exceeds expectations? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever. Uh, I can cut that whatever with a knife in here. Okay, weren't you gonna go and pay a visit to, what's her name, Quinn? You can't even remember names. Look at you, all flustered. Stop. I'm going. This one is an incredible find. Look at the detail. It is extraordinary. Who is it? Hawkins. She's not only a painter, she designs jewelry, too. Really? I didn't know that. Yes, you did. Why do you do that? It's fun to mess with you. <laughs> Quinn, Rachel Fox is here to see you. And the background check? She's good. Everything checks out. Education, employment. That's a relief. Something about her didn't feel right. Send Miss Fox in. Already in. Hello, Quinn. Do you two know each other? No. I would remember. Hi. I'm Christopher North. Pleased to meet you. Thank you, Rachel. Rachel Fox. Chris is one of my most valuable clients. Christopher North, you're with Smart Tech Industries. That's right. Your reputation for being a patron of fine arts precedes you. Well, Rachel, you're in good hands here with Quinn. Thanks for stopping by, Chris. Pleased to meet you, Rachel. Nice to meet you. 
The art community is such a tight-knit group. Mm. You two have never met? No. Interesting. Anyway, I think I may have found what you're looking for. It's currently at a gallery in Antwerp. Mm -hmm. Nice. A Hawkins. Just as your boss requested. That is absolutely beautiful. Mm. She'll love it. Mm. I'm so thrilled. I'll let the gallery know and we should have it in a few days. The price is 16. Will that be a problem with your accountant? No, that's fine. Mm. Lovely. Then we have a deal. We have a deal. Thank you, Quinn. Mm. Take care. Do me a favor, dear. I know that she checks out, but uh, please try and find out more about our new Miss Rachel Fox. Follow her if you need to. I just want to be sure about this before we go to school. Let's just take a ride along the bay. Coming. We don't need to work. We can sit around and play. I've been waiting for so long to get away. Hey. Hi. You have a package here. Thank you. Agent Winslow, what a pleasant surprise. Imagine my surprise. Yeah. Oh. I just got back from my morning swim. I, I just wanted to come by and say thank you for not blowing my cover. Of course. You know, I'm nothing if not discreet. Won't you come in? Uh, yeah. Thanks. So, I know what you're doing. Santa Claus, stealing from the rich, giving to the poor. Santa? Sounds more like Robin Hood. Exactly. But this Robin Hood likes to dress as Santa Claus. Well, why wouldn't he just dress as Robin Hood? I don't know. Maybe he likes to wear red. And so you think I'm your Santa Claus? Well, I mean, you are wearing a red suit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just tampered with your evidence. It, I, I could arrest you for that. Now we're talking. So what do you know about an offshore account that identifies on the server as the North Pole? That wires large deposits directly into individual accounts. Individual accounts that are in need, that is. Sounds charitable. Why do you know Quinn Carlisle? How do you know Quinn Carlisle? Okay, Harper, there's a few things that you and I need to clarify. <sighs> yes, we do. And I propose we have this conversation when I'm, you know, wearing pants. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's meet in two hours near Lake Arrowhead. I'll text you the address. <laughs> you don't have my number. Maybe you do. Well, we found my apartment. That seems a little remote for a conversation, don't you think? Oh, on the contrary, it's the perfect location for this time of year. Who says you can't have a white Christmas in L.A.? Sounds perfect. Yeah, well, it's a date. It's a date. No, it's it's not a date. No. No, it's an investigation. Oh. It's my investigation on you. It's not a date. Well, that sounds way more fun. Yeah, okay. I will see you in two hours. Two hours? Yep. It's not a date, though. No, not a date. It's a surprise. <laughs> it's a little secluded. I'd be a little nervous if I couldn't easily kill you with my bare hands. I bet you say that to all the guys. Eh, they're just facts. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
I brought you out here for a couple of reasons, but the big one is a secret that I have to tell you. Well, you can tell me anything. I just know. remember. I know. Anything I say can and will be used against me in a court of law. Hey, just so you understand your rights. You're not wearing a wire, are you? No. Okay. Well then, here goes. <laughs> what? What's your secret? You're looking at it. This? This is your secret? The most perfect place on earth to find a Christmas tree. Okay. What do you think about this one? Wow, it's actually perfect for the first try. <laughs> yeah, well, if you look around, you'll see that all the trees out here are perfect. They are. Wait, Chris, you can't do that. I can't do what? Get the most beautiful Christmas tree in the world for the most beautiful woman in the world? But no, seriously, there are a lot of tree lots throughout the city where you can get a tree. Even places you can cut your own tree down, but you can't just come out here and cut down a tree. There is literally a gate with a sign that says private property, no trespassing. So no cutting down a tree on said private property. Okay, Chris, I really appreciate the gesture, but I can't let you cut down this tree. Okay, I am not kidding. I will arrest you. Wow, you must be a lot of fun at parties. <laughs> okay, FBI freeze. You oh. cannot cut down this tree. <laughs> what are you doing? I stand corrected. You are fun, but you should relax. I own it. Own what? The tree, private property, all this land. All of this? You mm. own all of this. Yeah. Okay, what are you what are you doing? Um, I think it's called kissing. Nice, no? Yeah, that was nice. <sighs> okay, well, I also brought you out here because I have something to tell you. Yeah, I know. You know? You have a confession to make, right? Yeah, I do. You're I Santa. love you. What? what? Oh, hold on. You thought I brought you out here to tell you that I'm Santa? Yes. You love me? From the very first moment I laid eyes on you. I, I know it's probably too soon to have these feelings, but I have never experienced anything like this before. I know art, and you are the most beautiful art I have ever seen. All right, I know. I, I, oh, I said too much. I know women hate that. Men hate that. No, yes, but... but... Harper, you can't deny that you have these feelings, too, that you feel what's happening between us. I know you do. Remember that day in the museum, the universe of connectivity. Yeah, I remember. And I can feel it, but I can't act on it, Chris. I'm an FBI agent. You're our suspect. You're suspect number one. Besides, you lied to me. I lied to you? Yeah, a big fat lie. I have never lied to you, not once. You said it would snow. I followed Rachel, and you're not gonna like it. She's a cop. Her friend is too. I knew it all seemed too coincidental. There's more. Oh, Chris. I told you he's no good for you. And you were right. Thank you, Peter. There'll be an extra little something in your Christmas bonus. I hope so. Mm -hmm. So this is what we've got. Santa steals the painting, sells the painting, uh, gives Thank the money you. away. Thank you. And he uh, tells me that he loves me. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. 
And here's the complicated part about it. I think I love him too. Okay, wow. Uh, that is complicated. Yeah. Well, did you tell him that you love him? No. He's a suspect, the suspect. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know, I think you should tell him. And you should probably take yourself off this case. <laughs> wow, a week ago I would have loved saying that, and now, no. Ew, what's happening to me? Uh, thanks, you're not helping. I'm sorry. Look, your curse is that you can't help but tell people everything you know. And mine is that I can't help but tell it like it is. Also annoying, by the way. <laughs> Harper, he loves you and you love him. Isn't that bigger than any of this art stuff? Let me answer that, it is. <laughs> you gotta follow your heart, Harper. Are you following your heart? Huh? Oh, come on. It is so obvious that you and the captain have feelings for each other. Oh, family. no, no, that's different, okay? He's my boss, and no, no, that, end of story. Case closed, I can't. Right? I can't. Yes, you can. You should follow your heart, too. You can always go to a different precinct. That's Quinn. Hello, Quinn. Hello, Rachel, dear. Wonderful news. I have the painting. Just arrived from Holland. You said you wanted it right away rather than wait for delivery, so take down this address. Our warehouse at 1128 Bristol Avenue. Meet me there tonight at 8. I'll give you the account number to transfer the funds when you arrive. Their door will be unlocked. Does that work for you? Yes, yes. The, the timing is perfect. My boss is going to be very pleased. Hmm. See you then. See you then. Oh, we've got her. She has the Hawkins. Yes! <laughs> oh, wait, I thought we were gonna quit this case and follow our hearts. Oh, we are, but after we solve this. <laughs> All right, places, folks. Clear if you're clear. All clear. When they transfer the money for the Hawkins we move. She says she will leave the door open for us. I don't see point. I don't feel good about this. Be careful. Quinn? Are you here? We got the Hawkins. It's a fake. It's the replica from the site's burglary. This blood on my Excuse me, are you Harper Winslow? 
A gentleman asked me to get this to you. You're right, of course. There is a Santa Claus, and it's me. I steal art, but it's art that's already been stolen, and I return it to where it truly belongs. We're both working for the art crime team, risking everything for art and its survival. The art collectors I steal from know it's stolen, and they're not good people. So I sell their art on the black market and transfer those funds to people they've wronged in some way. In my opinion, it's win-win. The only guys who are out are the bad guys. I also do this as a way of making amends. The grandfather I adored made his fortune as an art thief. The Hawkins paintings you saw in my office were priceless to me because my grandfather gave them to me. But he stole them, and I realized I must return them to where they belonged. Meeting you has forced me to look at my life in a whole new way. No one has ever been higher on my nice list than you. I think it's almost time to hang up the Santa suit. I just have a few more ends to tie up first. I hope you will find it in your heart to believe in Santa Claus. Love, Chris. Hey, looks like that little break helped. Yes, it really did. Okay. Get this. Mm -hmm. The pipe belonging to St. Nicholas? Mm -hmm. It was returned to a museum in Oslo yesterday. It was stolen from them 40 years ago. Wow. And the Hawkings belonging to Alex Sykes, that was turned into the Cleveland Museum of Art. That was stolen from them 10 years ago. Huh. So no harm, no foul, right? I mean, if everything's been returned, then the only guys out are the operatives in the black market. Like Quinn. He's really something, huh? Yeah. He really is. Oh, no. What? Uh, another Santa burglary. What? Where? <laughs> It says an artist private studio. Which artist? Selena Hawkins. The thief broke in overnight. Mm -hmm. All he took was a pendant I made years ago. The security camera shows it was a man dressed as Santa. Miss Hawkins, I think we know who stole your pendant. The FBI has been tracking this Santa for quite a while now. The FBI. I'm guessing that my necklace is already on the black market. No, not if we can help it, Miss Hawkins. Please call me Selena. Well, Selena, <laughs> I cannot tell you how much it means to me to meet you. My mom used to love your work, and so she introduced me to you when I was very young. I am a very big fan. Oh, stop it. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> did he, Santa, leave anything behind? Yes, he did, actually. He left. This. Different. <laughs> he usually leaves coal. Oh. <laughs> and I am sure I can identify him. This young man came to visit me a few days ago. He was very sweet and handsome. So I didn't mind that he was asking so many questions. Is this the man? Yes, that's him. Um, what kind of questions was he asking? Oh, pretty personal questions, actually. We started talking about art, but before I knew it, I was telling him about my past. Would you mind sharing that with us? It could help. When I was an art student, I got pregnant. I wasn't ready to have a child, so I gave my baby girl up for adoption. It was the most difficult thing I have ever done. I still think about her all the time. I guess the idea of her inspires my art to this day. He claimed that he knew who my daughter was and that he would arrange for us to meet. I should be more careful. I 
I guess being famous comes with a price. Thank you, Miss Hopkins. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm sorry for the circumstances, but it was really extraordinary to meet you both. Okay, <laughs> you gotta spill it. What is the connection between you and Selena Hawkins? You two were like long lost. Mother and daughter? Yeah. Like Santa found my birth mom. Ladies, got a hot tip on your stolen necklace. Really? Yes. Tonight, at the Carlisle Gallery, I have it on good authority that one Quinn Carlisle is going to attempt to sell a Hawkins necklace to, well, me. What? How did that happen? <laughs> Who called in the hot tip? Santa Claus. You're Santa Claus. And, hook me up with this sweet new identity. Check it out. Mr. Matthew Sterling. Fancy. Looks like someone needs a new suit. What? What's wrong with this? It's a little more stainless than sterling. <laughs> stainless? That's a good thing, right? Lopez, Winslow, you have eyes? I do. Okay, I'm going in. Be careful, sir. Mr. Sterling, welcome. Please come in. Thank you. This way. Would you like some wine? You have anything stronger? How about an 18-year-old scotch? Perfect. Mm -hmm. This is an exquisite piece. Mm. I'm tempted to keep it for myself. Who's it for? My fiance. Lucky lady. You have excellent taste. Do you know much about Selena Hawkins? Oh, just that she's very expensive and a great investment. I believe that we agreed to two and a half million. Here's the account number to make the transfer. Voila. Fabulous. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, and also, LAPD. You're under arrest. Come on, hands behind your back. I, Come that on. is not a stolen item. I have lawyers. Oh, I have I bet lots you have of lawyers. lawyers. I have a team of lawyers. Hey, oh. hey. Gotcha, Quinn. Lucy and Ethel? Oh, got to be kidding me. <laughs> Hey, Lucy and Ethel made a great team. So you're saying we make a great team? I am. Wait, so am I Lucy or Ethel in this scenario? You have the right to remain silent. What? Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. <laughs> you have the right to return it. Oh, wow. I kind of love it when bad things happen to bad people. Is that bad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, like, the look on her face was priceless. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Well, good work, team. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Captain. <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> Come with me. So, I was thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Life is short, it's now or never. So, I think. You should go for it. Seriously? You have mistletoe in your desk? Uh, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it came with the gingerbread cookies. Of course. Go get your guy. Here goes nothing.
Chris? Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, pretty lady. Merry Christmas, Santa. And what do you want for Christmas? What I want, I can't have. You sure about that? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Harper. You have been on my most wanted list for a very long time. Well, you got me. And I'm giving it all up. Thank you for my painting. You did get it. You were right. I do get what I want. <laughs> I got something else for you. Something else? <laughs> oh, yeah. How did you get that? That's supposed to be on his way back to Selena Hawkins. Well, as it turns out, she wants her daughter to have it. <laughs> I have loved her work for so long. I still can't believe she's my mother. Well, believe it. The universe of connectivity. And the magic of Christmas. Yeah. Oh. I knew it was you from the mall, wouldn't it? I did too. I loved you from afar every day of your life. You did the right thing. You gave me the most amazing parents in the world. I couldn't have loved them more. I'm so grateful. My heart is so full. <laughs> Look at you. You are my greatest work of art. <laughs> Santa, thank you for returning her to me. So, now do you believe in Santa? I do. If you could have anything for Christmas, what would it be? Ho, ho, ho!